Hello friends and welcome back. This lecture is an introduction to data types in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about integers, real numbers, or floating point numbers. We will talk about characters, strings, booleans, and finally user defined types. So let's get started. What are integers? An integer is a number without a decimal part. So here are some examples. 1, 2, 100, minus 4, minus 9, 0. All these are examples of integers. They are numbers without a decimal part, all right? Now let's see real numbers. So they are numbers with a decimal part. Here are some examples. As you can see, all these numbers have a decimal part. Even 1.0 and 0, 0.0. They are considered real numbers, all right? So we can conclude that an integer can be a real number. So if you have a look at these numbers, they are real numbers. For example, if we have 100, if we simply add 0, .0 this will be a real number, all right? And it will not be an integer anymore, all right? Now let's talk about characters. So characters are all the characters on the keyboard and more, all right? So here are some examples. All these are characters. And you can't find all of these on the keyboard, right? So all you have to do is to write a character and put it between single quotes. So for example, we are putting the number 5 between single quotes. So now it is a character. But if you put it inside double quotes, it will be a string, alright? So characters are different than strings, okay? So also we have the minus sign, the asterisk, the question mark, the dollar sign, the semicolon, and even the comma. So everything on the keyboard can be a character. And we have more, and we will talk about this later. Now let's talk about strings. As you already know, a string is a group of characters or it is a text, right? So here are some examples. And you are already familiar with strings. All I want you to remember is that we have a special string which is an empty string, which contains nothing, all right? And as you know, we use double quotes when we work with strings. Now let's talk about booleans. A boolean is a value that represents true and false. Only two values, okay? So inside Java, we can write the keyword true and the keyword false. Now you might ask, why do we need true and false in programming? Basically, they are used to create conditions. So we can start executing a piece of code based on a condition, right? And we will see this later on. Finally, let's talk about user-defined types. And this is related to classes and objects. So we can create a custom type using classes and objects. For example, Suppose that we create a class that is called point. Now, we can say that each point has an abscessa and an ordinate, or x and y, alright? And in this case, x is a number and also y is a number. So after we create this class, we can create objects from this class. And in this case, each object will be a point. So we can create a point where x is equal to 5 and y is equal to minus 2, and also we can create a point where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. And of course you can create any point that you want. What's important is that each point will be an object of this class and each point has an abscessa and an ordinate, right? And don't worry, we're going to talk about this later. But I wanted to give you an idea. And remember that in this case, the point is the class and these are the objects, alright? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.